were talking about um, uh, how the faith has really um, become alive in our in our family life. How we tried and we're still trying to root our our marriage and family life in the Word of God, in family prayer as well as in the Eucharist, and uh, we've seen the fruits of this somehow. Uh, in two seemingly tragic events, which are the, the death of our two sons. One son died in 2004, we lost him to kidney failure, and the other one we lost in 2011 to a vehicular accident. We feel that even in the midst of our uh, sadness and grieving, the Lord has consoled us by uh, certain reflection papers we found in um, among our, our things during the wake, especially of the second son, and he said, what is best, however, is that we nurture our relationship with God daily so that we may learn how to love him and not to fear him as a slave would fear his master. This, I have discovered, is the beginning of eternal life. I belong to God and I'm going back to God. And as far as our older son is concerned, he was mentally handicapped. We were not able to share this. And so he probably was not able to share with us what he was feeling. And so uh, in 2004, he, he was sick, very sick, and we lost him to kidney failure. But he, even when he, even if he had, uh, he was mentally handicapped, had a great love for the Eucharist. And I think this is the fruit of many years of striving to uh, make our children appreciate the real presence. And he, even when he was weakened in pain, of pain, from pain, he would never leave the Eucharist and, and and in order to rest, no, he said, "I we will stay, Mama. I will stay." That's that's uh, and we have experienced the resurrection in the midst of all these tragedies because these two stories of the deaths of our sons have become have given life to many people that we have given seminars to, retreats to, and the greatest proof of the resurrection is that we have been able, both of us, to forgive the one who killed our son in that vehicular accident. After 40 years of marital love, I just realized that we, we are not a perfect family and we live in an imperfect world. But looking back, we were able to raise our children through family prayer, through the Eucharist, the and the Word of God. Okay? And so coming to the Synod, we don't have much expectation except we would like to bring the message, the ministry of presence. Our mere presence in the synod uh, is just enough for us, sharing our life story as a family, how we raise our children. We said in our intervention that many times we don't need words, especially in times of grieving but we are helped by the ministry of presence, by the presence of so many of our friends, our co-workers, our family, of course, but from the church, we also would like to see that, that many bishops and priests would visit their people, uh, especially the poor, whose only consolation precisely is to, be, to see themselves as important enough to be visited by their, by their priests, by their pastors, by their bishops. That's enough for us. No need for solution, to give us concrete solutions. The Holy Spirit will guide us there.